You know, in regards to DLC, I can kind of understand why console exclusivity would reign supreme. However, when it comes to a whole entire game mode slash core part of a video game, that's where I'm kind of like, eh, not really the smartest, most ethical decision to make if you want to please your fans. Um, if you guys don't know, this is not a troll, this is not clickbait or anything of that matter. For Call of Duty Modern Warfare Spec Ops, the survival mode of the game is actually going to be exclusive to the PlayStation 4 and it's coming out in October 2020, a whole year from now. So I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this plus what the Infinity War developers had to say and more. Now, I've spent about a day reading fan feedback, and for a lot of people, this is a huge deal. In fact, I've seen a lot of Xbox players already cancel pre-orders simply because the Spec Ops Survival is exclusive to PlayStation 4. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they would want to promote, oh yeah, we're not gonna have any more barriers, everyone's gonna be playing together, uniting the community, but then you just announce that you are isolating another portion of your fans from a game mode because they don't have the same content console as everyone else like I'll be honest I truly do feel for y'all Xbox players because since Sony has signed with Activision back in like 2014 PC and Xbox players have been getting slapped around like crazy compared to how it was when Microsoft had a contract with Activision like Xbox players y'all are gonna have to be drinking out of segregated water fountains at this point with all this nonsense it's absolutely ridiculous how bad y'all have been losing out of content for years now and I also do get the argument that you know, if you don't like it, then buy a PS4. Sure, I see both sides, but I'm just talking about comparisons to both of the exclusive agreement years. Now that we have weapons, in-game events, more attractive game modes, the list goes on and on. So, yeah, it kind of sucks for y'all, and I really don't even understand why it takes a whole year to come out with a portion of a game that is just beyond me, especially when a large part of the COD community strictly play the survival modes like Zombies, Extinction, etc. Like, like, they should have just waited to announce this honestly like sometime next year when fans probably wouldn't have been you know caring so much as, as they are right now early on um, like I said I've seen a lot of fans already say that they're canceling pre-orders because of this portion is not going to be available in the full release now Infinity Ward has gone on reddit and they did clarify a bit about the spec ops mode and they said lots of discussion and reaction to yesterday's news about special ops we know you have questions and we want to clarify to be clear, our all new Special Ops mode will be releasing on all platforms on October 25th. We're looking forward to revealing Special Ops on October 8th. When we launch on October 25th, everyone on all platforms will be getting Modern Warfare, which includes Campaign, the all new Special Ops mode, and the entirety of Multiplayer, which is a massive experience we've worked on to create. Special Ops Survival is an additional classic mode that will be available on PlayStation 4. And they do say that they hear the fans' reaction to not being able to play the survival mode on all platforms as they've worked hard to make the entire experience better for all the community players um so yeah at this point we need to know and understand that hey it's not really infinity Ward's decision for this it's that agreement with sony and activision um so Infinity Ward really doesn't have anything to do with this, like I said, and if y'all are complaining to IW saying that it's the devs fault, it's out of their control, it's the higher ups, it's the contract agreement between Sony and Activision's fault, um, so yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. In fact, Infinity Ward did not even have to respond to this outrage and this cry from the community, but they did anyway, so that shows a lot about their character and how hard they're trying to make this game the best Call of Duty that's ever been created. So I got a lot of respect for Infinity Ward this year. They really are working hard over there. So um, yeah, it just kind of sucks that um, the higher ups and stuff that's out of their control could potentially ruin their game. And just to kind of reiterate what Infinity Ward said, Special Ops will be available on launch day. In fact, there's going to be a reveal for it on October the 8th. However, the survival part will not be available until October 2020 for the PlayStation 4 users only. But still though, you know, Infinity Ward came 
came out and said that all the modes will be united as one progression system but like what if in the survival mode there's a way you can earn more advancement towards your progression plus let alone overall maybe the mode is a more enjoyable experience than all the other modes but obviously we're not going to know for sure until um, the mode comes out next year in 2020 but maybe there's going to be some more details revealed later on in the year but shit I'm not going to be going back to play Modern Warfare in 2020 because I guarantee you I'm going to be playing the next Call of Duty the new installment not go back in the past but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know about this um, please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments guys are you are you all upset about this if you're on the PlayStation um, but if you're on the Xbox I still want to hear your all's opinion but for me like I said I'm on the PlayStation 4 and I'm still very upset about this and I don't even play the same console as, as everybody else does on the Xbox you know like it just <laughs> I just don't understand this at all I really don't get the point um, besides you know the agreement between Sony and Activision um, but you know like like I said one of the main focal points is you want to unite the fans together but then you go ahead and pull this stuff like it just does not make sense to me so again please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments guys love y'all so so much thank you for all your feedback I appreciate all your support till next time I'll see you guys later